Welcome back. Today, we're diving into an interesting question. Why does China produce both the J-10C and the J-16 fighter jets even though they seem so similar? Buckle up as we explore the key differences and strategic reasons behind this decision. First, let's talk about the J-10C. The J-10C is a single-engine, light, multi-role fighter. It's known for its agility, speed, and advanced avionics, making it well-suited for a variety of missions, including air superiority, interception, and ground attack. This fighter is highly maneuverable, which is crucial for dogfighting and rapid response scenarios. Now, let's look at the J-16. The J-16 is a twin-engine, heavy multi-role fighter bomber based on the Su-30 MKK platform. It's designed for a much broader range of missions. With a larger airframe, the J-16 can carry more fuel and a greater payload of weapons. This gives it a longer range and greater endurance, making it ideal for deep strike missions, maritime strikes, and even electronic warfare. While both the J-10C and the J-16 are advanced fighter aircraft developed by China, they serve different roles and have distinct capabilities that make them valuable assets to the People's Liberation Army Air Force. PLAF. Here are some reasons why China invests in producing both aircraft despite their potential similarities. Different Roles and Missions Despite their similarities, the J-10C and J-16 serve different roles within the Air Force. The J-10C is tailored for air superiority and quick reaction alert duties. Its agility and speed make it perfect for engaging enemy aircraft and performing close air support missions. In contrast, the J-16 is a versatile workhorse, capable of carrying out complex missions that require heavier payloads and longer range such as strategic strikes and suppression of enemy air defenses. Payload and Range The J-16's ability to carry more weapons and fuel is a significant advantage. It can deliver a variety of munitions over greater distances, providing a strategic edge in sustained operations. Meanwhile, the J-10C, being smaller and lighter, offers excellent performance in terms of speed and maneuverability, but with limitations in payload and range. Complementary Capabilities By fielding both types of aircraft, the Air Force leverages their complementary strengths. The J-10C excels in dogfighting and quick missions, while the J-16 handles heavy-duty tasks requiring extensive firepower and endurance. This combination ensures a balanced and flexible force capable of adapting to diverse mission requirements and threats. Redundancy and Flexibility Having a diverse fleet provides operational flexibility and redundancy. Different platforms can excel in varying scenarios, and a mix allows the Air Force to adapt to multiple threats and operational needs. If one type of aircraft faces technical issues or vulnerabilities, the other can step in to maintain operational capability. Strategic and Tactical Considerations Strategically, the need for different types of aircraft is influenced by the regional security environment, the requirement for power projection, and the ability to operate in diverse environments. Tactically, the mix of light and heavy fighters enables the Air Force to perform in both heavily contested and less defended airspaces effectively. Technological Development and Experimentation Developing and producing both the J-10C and J-16 drives technological innovation. Each aircraft contributes to advancements in avionics, weaponry, and combat tactics. This continuous improvement cycle enhances overall combat effectiveness and informs future aircraft designs. Conclusion. The production of both the J-10C and J-16 allows for a balanced, flexible, and capable Air Force. The J-10C offers a cost-effective solution for air superiority and multi-role missions, while the J-16 provides enhanced capabilities for long-range strikes, payload capacity, and electronic warfare. Together, they ensure that the Air Force can meet a wide range of operational requirements and remain a formidable force in the skies. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your thoughts on the J-10C and J-16. See you next time.